Alright, round three, here we go. Is the ship really sinking? How do I avoid being arrested? I want that pass key. Can I get Lady Armstrong to stay quiet? <coughs> Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Valencia. Um... Who's there? Steward, ma'am. Uh, what do you want? Captain says we put into the ground at 4 p.m. And breakfast is still being served, ma'am. Thank you. Very good, ma'am. Okay. I do think getting the earring is important. Or... Maybe we leave the earring there. Actually. Alright, I think we gotta take ours off. That, that That's for sure. Okay. Fix my face. We'll take off the earring. Great. I right, slip the earring and put it in the pocket. Great. Grab the tablets. We will pocket them. Perfect. All right, now we leave. Let's let's plant some evidence that will get Clarissa in trouble. All right, we don't even actually need to plant evidence. Well, I guess we technically are planting evidence. I'm late. Hello again, Mrs. Valencia. Will your husband not be joining, ma'am? He has gone to the smoking room, perhaps? Who's too hungry to wait? It smells so good. The finest English sausages, ma'am. Okay, it's nearly empty. I'll sit alone. Sit down at a table by myself. For the first time since waking, I feel terribly, horribly exciting. Alone. It doesn't last. I know why you avoid me just now. They'll think you're being rude. But I know. Sit down and don't make a scene. I don't care if I make a scene. Do you hear me? I know what you did to him. Have some bacon, dear. It's delightful. How can you eat at a time like this? Don't tell me you don't know. Have you seen my husband, Clarissa? Have I? Have I? Clarissa bursts into fresh sobs and flees from the room. Luckily no one saw any of that. F I finish my breakfast in silence. Okay. Let's go to the smoking room. I think getting the key is important so we can plant the evidence. Less than seven hours from Liberty Island. The smoking room is a stuffy place tucked into the back of the boat. Malcolm's jacket is hung over the back of one of the chairs. Let's grab the jacket. You must have forgotten this here last night. Well, we'll look in the pockets. What have you got in here? Wallet, cabin key, no incriminating notes. Take the key. Perfect. I take the key from Malcolm's pocket. Ah. Uh, hurry away. Got what I wanted. Okay. Let's go to the aft cabins. Plant the evidence. Uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna like deal with the, the commander. The aft cabins belong to Major and to Mrs. Clarissa. Stop and come from a nearby cabin. Let's check the Major's door first. Hello? Good day to you, Mrs. Valencia. He salutes. Been stuck aboard this tug for a week, but I don't believe we've had the pleasure. The name's Subadugar, Major Sabat Singh of the 14th Sikh. Retired, obviously. At your service. He clicks his heels together. Good to know. Not a fan of the army, perhaps? They were outmodeled something from history. Hardly. I think we all know there's a war coming. That's why you're leaving your visits. No. 
Malcolm is running from his debtors. I understand completely. He is a coward. We'll make some better conversation. How long were you in the army? Still am in the army, madam. I thought you said you were tired. It's a life's work. Old soldiers only fade away, if you recall. Where were you stationed? Egypt, Mesopotamia. Wherever they needed our steel. What's in America for you, Major? My old friend, Pitts. We fought together Egypt 20 years ago. He's only got one eye. I'm afraid he's quite a monster. A cyclops? With all the strength of one, too. If you need a car flipped over, Pitts is the man you call for. I'll remember that. Don't suppose it'll come in useful. But might make an antidote for one for you one of these days, who knows? What about you? What takes you across the ocean? My husband is looking for work. They say America is full of places to work. How very aspirational of him. I think that's enough talking. Well, I'll be leaving. I'll leave you be. Very good, my dear. He locks the door and totters away. Clissa! Clissa, you're in there? Go away! You're going to want to talk to me. Are you threatening me? You witch! I never want to see you again. I know what you did to him. I know. Clarissa, that's enough. Stop this unsightly performance right now. You're heartless, absolutely heartless. No wonder he did what he did. What did Mark do, Clarissa? Please tell me. Go away. Do you know where he is? He's dead. You must know that. Go away. Leave me alone, you monster, you harpy. She collapses into floods of tears again, enough to spoil her bread sheets. How could she know? How much did she see? Clarissa! Go away! Meet me on the upper deck. Why? Do it for Malcolm. Trust me. I hate you! Now we duck out of sight. And... A few minutes pass by. Then Clarissa steps out. And hurries up the passageway. She's gone. Try the key. Perfect. Slip inside, the door closes behind. Alright, drop an earring. First thing, I drop my earring in the middle of the floor. Now... The desk. The desk is got with handwritten sheets. I'll uh, look somewhere else. Uh, nightstand. i uh, put sleeping pills on the nightstand. Let's tear my name from the label and leave these here. Great. And leave the room. There. Locked. Alright, then we leave. Alright, next we want to figure out what the heck is going on in Carstairs' room. So theoretically, now the earring should link back to Clarissa. The Ford cabins are occupied by Carstairs on one side and Lady H on the other. Let's try Carstairs first. Let's listen. What's this now? 
We can definitely hear someone moving around inside the cabin. Snock? Hello? No answer. Knock? Nothing. Knock? A bolt drawn back inside. Shove the door open! I quickly heave the door open. There's a thud as someone falls backwards across the cabin floor. It's a woman, my age, with a mousy brown plate. She's holding a cricket bat, but she seems to think it's a club. Well, hello. Ah! Which window? Which window? Get. Ah! Who are you? Yeah, yes. Bitte. Yeah, yes. Car says, is this your friend? Bitte. I, I don't speak German. I d I! Well, that can't be good. I was hit in the face with a cricket bat. Uh, well then. Ow. My head feels like it's been split open. There you are. You had a stroke of bad luck. You were walking alone along one of the corridors and cracked your noggin on a bulkhead. There was a woman. In Carcer's cabin? Was there? Well, good for him. But the shock of that can hardly have put a lump like that on your head. And I'm afraid there's rather more serious matters to consider. Major Singh asked everyone to meet at the restaurant to talk about Malcolm. Carcer convinced them all that you pushed your husband overboard. What? Which, to be fair, you did. I won't take the sign down. I doubt you can stand without falling over. Take my arm. We're getting you off this boat. The police have doctors. They'll take a look at you. Ah! Darn cricket bats! Sing Sing Correctional Facility. Mrs. Valencia, welcome to America, Mrs. Valencia. Enjoy your stay. America's not what I imagined. Sorry to disappoint, miss. In you go now. Add for the count. Socialite Veronica Valencia woke from an afternoon nap in handcuffs. Arrested by the Brooklyn police for the murder of her husband aboard the SS Hook. Mrs. Valencia will be a guest of the Sing Sing Correctional Facility. Sleep well, lady. <sighs> I guess we'll try again. Ah! You're doing so well. Okay. Can I silence Clarissa? Can I get Lady Armstrong to fight? How do I avoid being arrested? Is the ship really sinking? Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Valencia. Yeah, yeah, who's there? Steward mom, what do you want? Uh-huh, yep. Thank you, steward. Very good, mom. Hi, right, Veronica. Eight hours and you're free. Okay, I, th I think I think what we started with was fine, then we just, last time, we then just, you know, got hit with a, a cricket bat, which was bad, obviously. Okay, uh, so we pocket the diamonds. Great. We grab the tablets. It does occur to me that we probably should uh, throw that key overboard when we get the chance. After we've planted the evidence so we aren't linked back to the key that would have allowed us to plant the evidence. Okay. That should be all, I think. Okay. To the restaurants. Less than eight hours from Liberty Islands. Perfect. I'm late. Hello again, Mrs. Wensley. Will your husband not be joining, ma'am? He has gone to the smoking room, perhaps? I was too hungry to wait. It smells so good. Finest English sausages, ma'am. The restaurant is nearly empty. Let's go sit with Clarissa. 
Clues of Turpentine is a 20-something from Connecticut or some such place with moon eyes traveling alone. Malcolm found her riveting. I find her to be a wet cloth and a bucket of milk. Sit with Clarissa. Good morning, Miss Clarissa. May I join you? Oh my god. You're a ghoul, aren't you? I'll sit somewhere else then. I sit down at a table by myself. For the first time since waking, I feel terribly, horribly, excitingly alone. It doesn't last. I know why you avoided me just now. You all think they all think you're being rude, but I know. Excuse me? I said I know. I know what you did to him. Keep your voice down. I won't. I won't. Krista bursts into fresh sobs and flees from the room. Luckily, no one saw any of that. Finish our breakfast in silence. Okay. Great. Yeah, let's go to the smoking room. Let's grab ourselves the key from the jacket. Or maybe... Well, probably don't... Well, hmm. Welcome to jackets. Let's take a look at it. Let's look in the pockets. Captain Key, and then let's take Malcolm's key. There we go. Uh, hurry away. Wonderful. Who's here? Carstairs? Uh, we don't, we don't want to be anything. Okay. Now we go to the aft cabins. And we're gonna plant the key. No, not the key. We plant the earring. We plant the pills. Then we go to my cabin. We throw the key overboard. And then we need to figure out how to silence either the commander or the old lady. Okay, Clarissa's door. Clarissa, you're in there? Go away. Clarissa, let me in. Please. No, Veronica, please. Just go back, then never come back. You broke his heart. You won't lie. Are you talking about Malcolm? You never loved him. Not like I did. He was my husband, not yours. Was. So you do know. Ah, oh, drat. I don't know what you mean. You're lying, you're lying. What did you see, Clarissa? I am so suspicious. Please tell me. Go away. Did he hurt you? What? No. It was you. You hurt him. Go away. Please, you're driving me crazy. Okay. How can she know? How did she see? Across the hallway, the Major's cabin door opens. Ah, oh, no. Mem Sahib. Is everything quite alright? You're the Major? That's right. Sub to our Major Sarbet Singh of the 14th Sikhs. Retired, obviously. At your service. He clicks his heels together. Veronica Valency. Oh, I know who you are. Japs talk about their wives. Not very complimentary, I'm afraid. What did he say? I fear I may prove rather more discreet than your husband was. My apologies. Okay. I'll let you be. Very good, my dear. With that, the Major disappears off the corridor, whistling to himself. Clarissa! Clarissa! What do you want? We'd be on the upper deck. Why? It's important. Trust me. I hate you. Okay, we should leave. Hold on. Right, it looks like she's up there. Great. Meant to duck out of sight. Close this door. Try the key. I wonder, did that hussy give you a key, dearest? Why, she did! Okay. Drop the air. Wonderful. Nightstand. Sleeping pills. 
And there we go. Evidence planted. Okay. Um. What if I killed Lady H? Less than six hours from Liberty Islands. Make her way to the upper deck. And there she is. Well, you wanted to talk to me? Out with it. Close by, Lady H is leaning over the rail. She is deftly eavesdropping. You tried to steal my husband. That's no way to behave. He loved me, he didn't love you. And you destroyed him. I'm his wife, Clarissa. You were his keeper. I saw him fall, Veronica. Last night. It was horrible. I was in my bunk just writing something. And I looked up. And he shot past the portal in front of me. You sure it was him? I wasn't sure. He does all your face this morning. I, I don't know what you're talking about. He wouldn't have done it except for you. You didn't love him. Why didn't you let him go? You think he killed himself? It was all he could do. He loved me. But you left him no choice. Hmm. Heard enough. Go away, Clarissa. Go back to your cabin and cry. Oh. My god, Radica, what are you? I hate you. Goodbye, Clarissa. Goodbye. And with that, Clarissa runs away, sobbing out her little heart. Let's go to the deck. Did you drop my earring here last night? Nothing here. No evidence that anything happened. Wait by the rail. 25 minutes idle by. Ah, Mrs. Wonsey. It's Mr. Carstairs, the young Englishman. Damn fine day, what? Uh, I guess it's still technically morning. Good morning, Mr. Carstairs. Are you up here looking for your diamond by any chance? I found it lying here on the deck like a bolly fish. Lucky thing I did too. Might have followed back into the sea. Showed it to the Major and he jolly well diagnosed it. Diamond, I ask Caliber. Look. I'm afraid I only found the one, though. That's not my earring. Really? I mean, it looks like your earring. I was admiring them only last night, do you remember? Mere coincidence. It must belong to someone else. Golly, really? That's quite some coincidence. What with these big bespoke designs? Made by your husband's late uncle? After I found it, I took it to Mayor Singh. He's an expert on this kind of thing. Or Major Singh. He was absolutely certain it's diamond. Here, take it. Uh, no, it, it, it's not mine. Drat! Yo, it is mine. I didn't realize it was missing. You should be more careful, old fruits. So right. I would got here. You came up on deck after me. Quite a mystery, don't you think? Shall we take a turn around the deck? Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's rewind this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, well, I, I was actually happy with how this turned out. 
Tried to steal my husband. Great. I'm his wife. She's horrible. Sure, it's him. Don't know what you're talking about. I think he killed himself. And I've heard enough. Great. Uh, maybe I should actually just leave so he doesn't have the chance to, uh... Okay, I've got two kind of thoughts here. Either I go have the conversation with the, the guy again, or, and, and kind of imply that my earring had been stolen. Yeah, I think that's actually the way to do this. Okay. Okay, yeah. Lean away. There's a whistle from above us. Mr. Anders comes down the ladder from the bridge. Mrs. Valency. Admire the view. I am now. Ha! Huh. You are a one, I'll give you that. Gotta be going now. Rounds don't do themselves. I can wait by the rail. Okay. So, on this conversation... Yeah, uh, good morning, Mr. Carstairs. Are you up here looking for your diamond by any chance? Found it lying. Lucky thing I did. Showed it to the Major. Diamond, highest caliber. Look. I'm afraid I only found the one, though. What's it doing here? I'm not even wearing those earrings today. Really, how curious. But it is yours. I mean... He'd better have it back. I wonder how the dickens it got here. A thief? Perhaps there's a thief aboard. Better take twice as much care of those diamonds, then. Shall we take a turn around the deck? Another time, perhaps. I'll hold you to that. Good idea, Mrs. Vinesley. I wonder how the earring got here. He's going to ask around. Okay, uh, go below. Ah! Uh... What do I do? Alright. How can I make L Lady H... Okay, I think I go to my cabin. I'm gonna toss the key overboard. First thing I noticed is someone pushed a note under my door. Let's pick it up. Snatch from a note on the floor. Read it. Dear Mrs. Valency, I saw it and will, I will tell everyone. Unless you give me 10,000 pounds. Meet me in the chapel at 2 o'clock. Don't be late. Curses. Darn. Let us destroy it. Two o'clock. Okay, um... Desk, I think. Paperweights, yeah, who cares. Uh, something else. Portal! Portal is open. We will toss something overboard. Throw Malcolm's clothes out? No. Okay, I guess we can't do anything with that. Okay, let us go to the chapel. Uh, we're gonna need money. How many? How much money did he need? Was it the blackmailer need? Small chapel is tucked into the very bottom of the boat. I felt my knees and bowed my head. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, uh, something, something heaven. That's what you've got? It's the schoolgirl stuff. What do you want? I know I've not always been pious. Not always been? And I have not always been a small antelope called Millicent. Just get to the point, lady. Do you hate me? No, I love you. It's like chewing on nettles, but there it is. Now, what do you want? 
So nice to meet me here. Should I meet them or not? Definitely. The mysterious note writer is a far, far better person than you are. Who is it? Well, that's fair. Could be literally anyone from that description. Anything else? Since you're here for once? Which god are you? Just stop and think about the, that question for a moment. Go take a hike, I'm tired of you. Alms Bowl. The Alms Bowl by the door is intended for donations. Okay, it's empty. It's empty? Get your nose out of there. I hurry out of the chapel. Oh, dreads. Um. We can. Okay. So we've got less than an hour. We need to get. I need to get my husband's wallets to get money to pay off the blackmailer. The major's here playing cards against himself. Solitaire. Garces is here too, quietly smoking. Have either of you spoken to Lady H this fine morning? Um. I don't care what she has to say. Ah, oh, well. Just as you say. Tell you later, Mr. Carso, shall I? Okay, great. I'll be going now. Miss up. Wait. So, is there not a jacket? Uh huh. Take a seat. Let's sink right in, not be seen. You two going to play? Do you fancy it? Not today. Still washed out from last time. Suck to car stairs. Uh, are you an educated man, Mr. Carstairs? Goodness, I try not to be. Educated men aren't supposed to do foolish things. Okay, um... What foolish things do you do? We are well, you know. This and that. Right now, traveling boats to America, that's not an upright thing, you know. Where's your husband this afternoon, Miss Valency? Haven't seen him. Well, that's a dash nuisance. Stop talking. Okay, great. Uh... Don't say anything. Stand. Okay, the jacket seems to have... Disappeared. I'll be going now. Great. Um, I don't. It's not in my cabin, is it? I'll take a look. I, I honestly thought I'd be able to. Oh, great. Okay, look. Look in the pockets. M Malcolm's wallet's gone. Ah, who's stealing all the stuff? Okay, I, I need to go to the chapel. I'm slightly late. I'm like three minutes late. Anyone here? Veronica Valencia. You idiots. God, is that you? Mayor Singh sent me. Anders? The Major simply said I was to be here at two o'clock. And that I should take whoever I found to him in the restaurants. Lock me there. Certainly, madam. Let me take your arm. Dreads. We can still turn this around. In the restaurant, Lady H. Carstairs and the Major are soon gathered. Mr. Turpentine is standing apart, still sniffling. Andrews walks me in and steps to one side. Thank you all for coming. We apologize for gathering you all here. It is most unusual, but I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. Wansley, where exactly is your husband? Veronica killed him with your neglect, didn't you, Veronica? He's missing since last night. I'm worried sick. It is true, I think. The maid told me the bed it had not been slept in. That's because he's dead. Dead because of her. Now I'm falling to the sea. Last night he fell past my window as I looked out. Say nothing. Sh I'll say nothing. Please, Mrs. Turpentine. You say you saw him falling past your window? He reached out to me like a ghost. How horrible. It's a horrible thing to see. And you did it, Veronica. If he jumped, it was because of you. 
toying with him the way you did. You should be ashamed. You can't imagine our love, Veronica. It was pure. There, I said it. You know, of course one doesn't like to gossip, but Malcolm Valencia was on the upper deck last night. And he might have been up there with Miss Turpentine. They are very similar figures, our two women. Wouldn't you agree, gentlemen? It must have been Clarissa. Taking a moonless troll with my husband? I'm sorry, Mrs. Valencia, but I found your earring there just this morning. I mean, it was your earring, wasn't it? It was my earring, yes, but... I wasn't on deck last night. So how do you explain it? They were the stole it, or I think Malcolm gave them to Clarissa. Hmm. And it's... I, I don't know. And it's still kind of... Someone stole it from me. And put it there to make me look guilty. Ah, oh, it. It is possible. But it's hardly the simplest explanation. Wouldn't you agree? I rather think there's an obvious conclusion, Mimis Aviv. Wait, there's more. As I went below, there was a splash. Say nothing. Splash, you say? Thought it was something falling off the boat until... Until all of this. But one more thing. When I went to find Miss Turpentine, I found these in her cabin. Barbara II's sleeping tablets. Extremely strong. They're usually prescribed for neurotics. She was inside my cabin. I found one of her horrible earrings in there. Huh? She lured me to the upper deck and dropped it. She must have put those pills there. The fact is, Mr. Valencia is missing. So to satisfy my curiosity, I laid a little trap. A blooded goat tied to a post left to catch a wild animal. What are you talking about? I threatened to expose a murderer unless they paid my ransom. And without a shadow of a guilt, a murderer showed up. I'm no murderer. I'm a Christian woman, and I went to the chapel to talk to my god. Veronica. I've heard you arguing with Miss Turpentine, and it gave me the idea. I want every soul in this room to know the truth. Mrs. Wentz, you killed your husband in cold blood. Should I tell them you were in honor, Danders? Take you down with me? She's lost her mind. Mrs. Valencia, please come with me. The commander drags me by the arm out of the restaurant. Should have killed you too. Just for the fun of it. Just come with me. You better stay in your cabin till we dark. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe- I thought planting the earring would- Mrs. Valencia, welcome to America, Mrs. Valencia. Enjoy your stay. He used to be someone, you know. Maybe he'll be someone inside, too. In you go now. Oh, this is tough! Banged up, socialite Veronica Valencia was dramatically arrested for the murder of her husband as the SS Hook put into harbor in Brooklyn. Mrs. Valencia will be a guest of the Sing Sing Correctional Facility in somewhat less comfort than the widow of a British aristocrat might be accustomed to. <sighs> this is tough! Okay, so don't drop the earring. What does the woman in Carster's cabin have to do with anything? And who's... Who's the thief stealing a bunch of stuff?